May 25th, 2011. There he is, Wilson Valdez. Yeah, Joey Votto sends one of the air to center field. Michael Martinez was able to track it down. Scott Rowan took one, and then Jay Bruce popped one up. And Martinez was there again. And then one of the pitchers for the Reds, I don't even remember who that was, popped up to Placido Blanco. That was a six hour, 11 minute game. And Kike Hernandez is going to come in to pitch for the Dodgers. Austin Barnes is at second base. And Logan Forsyth is over at third. Why didn't send Rich Hill out there then? You know, I don't know. It's very odd. Maybe he couldn't get loose. Well, Kike Hernandez will take over. Nick Williams leads it off and he lofts one out toward right center field and oh a snow cone by Bellinger one out Woo, just sits there Chris Taylor is in center field now that's why Bellinger's over in right field. Here's Valentin. Hernandez has never pitched in a major league game before. One ball, no strikes. He's working quickly. I think you just got to be patient if you are well obviously it's three and oh. He just threw that one in there. So far there have been 42 position players counting Hernandez who have pitched this year in the big leagues. Forty two. Unbelievable. Last night it was Anthony Rizzo that Ben was talking about and Victor Caratini. He recorded three outs on five pitches. And the 41 does not include Otani's nine starts. So, uh, Major League Baseball is on pace for a little more than 65 position players, which, you know, annihilates the record. Yeah. 32 was the record last year. Even that is is a high number. One ball and no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. Shaking out his arm out of the mound. As Ben mentioned, the Dodgers had Rich Hill warming up in the bullpen. Three balls, no strikes. Ball four. So two on with one out. And Trevor Ploof is coming up. Guys that enter this game late are getting some at bats.
Blue flied out to center field his last time. Santana and Odubo are hoping that there's a celebration soon. There's a strike 0 and 1. 81 from Hernandez. You know, we talk about the position players pitching, and there was an article earlier this year that Matt Gelb wrote from The Athletic, uh, and with Gabe Kapp were talking about it. And he said, I don't know why there's an affliction. He said, I'm going to keep doing it. And around baseball, it seems like they are continuing to do it. That it's not as big a deal anymore. That may have been ball two. It's now one and two. The potential winning run is at second base in Jesswell Valentine. The one two to Ploof. Inside. Was that a knuckleball? Sure looked like it. It was listed as a curveball. It almost looked like a knuckleball. No, it wasn't a knuckleball. Out toward right center field. Bellinger going back. He'll just watch. It is gone. Trevor Ploof has walked it off. Here in the bottom of the 16th inning. A three run home run and the Phillies win it seven to four as he homers against Kike Hernandez. My goodness. Five hours and 55 minutes after it began the Phillies have taken game two against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Trevor Plouffe coming through. You know what, T Mac? I don't care if it's off a position player. It's a home run in the big leagues, and it's a walk off. Yeah, absolutely, he had two home runs last year in the big leagues. 105 for his career coming up. He went after a high pitch and just drove it the other way. Ball's way out of here. Yeah, when Bellinger turned it and just watched it go. I mean, Bell, I just assumed he thought it was going to hit the wall. That's what I thought. I mean, that's way out of here. Opposite field. That's a rough night for Kike Hernandez. Over 7th edition, he saddled with the tail. Well, Trevor Plouffe's three-run home run ends this one of the 16th inning for the Phillies. And a big hug from Gabe Kapler. Thank goodness. And he is down on the field with Greg Murphy. Murph? Yeah, and he just he just got a little bit of a wake up call with the uh, the double barrels on that. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for that. Uh, home run number 106 in your career, but it's a walk off that ends this one. You guys just continue to fight and fight and fight until it's all said and done. Yeah, you know, last night we did that as well. It came out on the wrong end, but uh, tonight is one of those nights where if you're here this long, you want to win the game. So um, luckily we got in the position to be able to do that. Um, our bullpen kept it in, kept us in it, obviously. And that's just uh, that's one that we're happy to get. You know, you've only been up uh, around these guys for a couple of weeks now, but uh, I, I would imagine you're starting to to develop a, a feeling for this clubhouse and what the what they're able to do, and what they set out to do each and every day night. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's a great clubhouse. A lot of young guys here, a lot of energy. Um, you know, it's it's been a pleasure to come into this organization. You know, go to Lehigh, meet those guys, then be able to come up here and, and, and contribute to a W. That's that's uh, something special. When you win a game like this, it takes a lot of guys. But how about a shout out for the bullpen and what they were able to do tonight after coming in, you know, taking over for Aaron Nola in the sixth. They were just outstanding. Yeah, I mean, they're they're amazing out there. Um, we, they kept us in the game, like you said, and then uh, even Vinny coming off the bench like that and pitching for us. So well, hats off to them. I mean, that was that was their victory today. All right, Trevor, go get some sleep because we're seeing you in about uh, six hours or so. All right, guys, <laughs> back upstairs. All right, Murph, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Yeah, five hours and 55 minutes after it began, Trevor Plouffe ends it for the Phils in the home 16th with a three-run home run. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this.